हेलो गाइस वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू वेलकम टू आवर मॉडर्न बायोलॉजी आई एम एजुकेटर सस्मिता टुडे वी विल सी अ न्यू चैप्टर व्हिच इज सेल जंक्शन सो लेट्स गेट इनटू द वीडियो बिफोर दैट प्लीज गाइस डू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू प्रेस द बेल आइकन फॉर फर्दर नोटिफिकेशन सो वेरी फर्स्ट वी विल सी द डेफिनेशन सेल जंक्शन इज अ कनेक्शन बिटवीन नेबरिंग सेल और कंटैक्ट बिटवीन टू सेल एंड एक्स्ट्रा सेलुलर मैट्रिक्स कनेक्शन और कंटैक्ट बिटवीन सेल एंड एक्स्ट्रा सेलुलर मैट्रिक्स आर फोकल अदरस और हेमिडेजमोरोम सपोज दिस इज टू सेल इट इज द कनेक्शन बिटवीन टू सेल व्हिच इज नोन एज सेल जंक्शन then the next point is connection between two cell are called as intercellular junction uh, like uh, tight junction gap junction adherent junction and desmosome these are the four type of intercellular junction the next we will see its types cell junction are classified according uh cell uh, junction are classified in three types which is oculating junction communicating junction and anchoring junction then let's know about the oculating junction these junction prevent intercellular exchange of substances are known as oculating junction uh like these junction prevent the movement of ion and molecules from one cell to another cell tight junction belongs to this category then we will see tight junction in more detail it is also known as genular oculodens um it is the intercellular uh, uh it is a intercellular oculating junction that prevent passage of large molecules it can't uh, like uh, like it does not allow any large molecule inside the cell and uh, it is a reason why cell a membrane of two adjacent cell two cell fuse together family mean equally and this type of junction is present in the apical margin of epithelial and endothelial cell in intestinal mucosa wall of renal tubules capillary walls and choroid plexus the now we will see the structure of tight junction it made of reeds which has two halves one half of the reeds is form one cell and another half is form another cell like other cell both have but the both half of the reeds fuse with each other very tightly and occupy the space between two cell and uh, each half of uh, like like each half of the reeds consist of tight junction strands then the next point is tight junction membrane protein such as oculodin culodin like collagen and jams jams means a junctional adhesion molecules then scapul protein or peripheral membrane protein or cytoplasmic pec protein such as like such as um, singulin the next is simplekin and jedo 1 2 3 here in the picture you can see tight junction the next we will see its function uh there are three type of function uh we will see first one is a uh, strength and stability tight junction holds the neighboring cell of the tissue firmly and uh, provide strength and stability to the tissue so it uh, act as a strength and stability of the cell and the second function is selective permeable like gate function 
like tight junction forms a selective barrier for small molecules and total barrier for large molecules in if we will see the epithelial and endothelial cell tight junction is the most apical intercellular junction which function as selective diffusion barrier between two cell one cell with their neighboring cell and these function is known as uh, like a um, barrier or gate function then the last and most uh, function of the tight junction is blood brain barrier bb brain tight junction is a brain capillary forms the blood brain barrier which prevent the entrance many substances from the capillary blood into the tissue like brain tissue only lipid soluble substances like drugs and steroid hormone can pass through the blood brain barrier then now we will see communicating junction cell junction which permits the intercellular exchange of substances called communicating junction communicating junction means uh, like um, it it allow the substances to go enter between two cell like it will allow the cell to exchange with each other it allow two cell to exchange with like exchange substances to each other we call it as communicating junction then next we will see the gap junction it is also known as nexus it is intercellular junction that allow passage of iron and smaller molecules between two cell and uh, the gap junction present in heart basal part of the epithelial cell of intestinal mucosa etc then now we will see its structure membrane of two adjacent cell lies close to each other and the next point is cytoplasm of the two cell is connected by the channels formed by the membrane of both cells so the molecules moves from one cell to the other cell directly through this channel without uh, like uh, without having contact with the extracellular fluid and next point is each channel consists of two halves each half belong to one or two adjacent cell each half of the uh, like channel is surrounded by six subunit of protein which is called as connection it's called as connection here in this picture you can say the uh, like uh, the gap junction is uh, the intercellular junction which is allow the passage of ions and small molecules between two adjacent cell between two adjacent cell the function is it helps to exchange of chem, uh, like chemicals messenger between cell between two cell it helps to exchange the chemical messenger and the second function is helps to rapid progression of action potential from one cell to another cell the next we will see the third uh, junction which is anchoring junction anchoring junction at the junction that provides strength of the cell by acting like mechanical attachment like the junction provide firm attachment between two cell or between a cell and the extracellular matrix and it is present in the uh, tissue like heart muscle and epidermis of the skin the then we will see its types the attachment uh, between two cell of between cell and extracellular matrix is provided by either actin or intermediate filament depending upon these it is classified into four types
depending upon the actin filament attachment it is divided into two types which is uh, adherent junction one is adherent junction and another one is foical adherence and uh, depend on the intermediate filament it divided into two types one is desmosome and another one is heavy desmosome the next we will see adherent junction adherent junction is the cell to cell junction which connects the actin filament of one cell to those of another cell it connects between two cell in adherent junction the membranes of the adjacent cell are held together by some transmembrane protein called cathrins like two membranes of the adjacent cell are held together by the protein which is known as catherin then the next point is uh, it provides strong mechanical attachment of the adjacent cell it provides a mechanical attachment like the strong mechanical attachment between the cell then the last point is the adherent junction present in epidermis help in the skin to withstand the mechanical stress the next we will see foical adherence it is the second part of actin filament attachment of anchoring junction and uh, foical adherence is the uh, cell to matrix junction cell to matrix junction which mean connects the actin filament of the cell to the extracellular matrix in epithelial various organ this junction connects cell with their basal lamella connect cell with their basal lamella and here the protein involved which hold the cell membrane and matrix are called integrin protein integrin protein which held the cell membrane and matrix together then now we will see desmosome which is also known as macular adherence it is cell to cell junction where intermediate filament connect two adjacent cell the membranes of two adjacent cell are thickened and the uh, become spot like patches and the transmembrane protein which is involved here is known as catherin catherin is the inter uh, inter like a uh, inter transmembrane protein which is involved here here you can simply uh, see the um, uh, desmosome picture over this slide the next we will see hemidesmosome which is also known as half desmosome it is cell to matrix junction this type of membrane is uh, like half desmosome thickening of the membrane of uh, only one cell occur mostly it connects uh, the cell with their basal lamella proteins are involved here is integrin protein here in this picture you can say all type of junction like here you can see tri junction here is the adherent junction and it is the desmosome here is a gap junction and uh, here is the hemidesmosome so guys it was our uh, like another part of cell biology video hope you all had a good session hope you all are clear now if you have any queries related to my topic then comment down below i will definitely make video according to your queries so thank you so much for your love and support thank you so much for watching our channel